guys, Jordy here from Premiere Basics, and today I'm gonna tell you five things that you're doing wrong in Premiere Pro. And don't worry, we all make mistakes, and that's why I'm here. Now, before we get started, guys, I first wanna thank you because we hit 200,000 subscribers on the channel, and I really appreciate every single one of you, so thank you so much for that, guys. And now, let's jump into Premiere Pro. The first thing that you're probably doing wrong is rendering your video twice. I know, you might not even realize. You see, when you got trouble playing back your footage, you render a part of your timeline by hitting the return key. A green line above your timeline indicates that this part is rendered. So we can actually tell Premiere to use that part when we're going to export the video. However, that means that this preview render should be of high quality. So right click on your sequence and choose sequence settings. Under the video preview section, make sure that the resolution is the same as your footage and choose a high quality video codec, for example, Apple ProRes. Preview renders have a high quality right now. So when we go to export the video, expand the general tab and enable the use previews checkbox. And now Premiere will use those high quality previews to export your video. And this will drastically decrease your export time. Mistake number two, you've got a sound effect to which you want to add reverb. Well, don't. Your reverb will be cut off as well when the sound effect clip ends. But there's a way to fix that. Increase the length of your clip and hold down the control key and create two keyframes on the audio track. Make the audio cut off at the point where you want it to. Now go to the Windows menu and open up the Essential Sound panel. Then click on Sound Effects and in the Creative tab you'll find Reverb. Now simply increase it and you'll notice now that even though the sound effect stops at your keyframing, the reverb will ignore that and continue to fade out the echo. Now if your clip isn't long enough, just duplicate it and set the volume to zero. Duplicate it again a few times and then select all the clips, right click on them and choose nest. Now add the reverb effect to that nest and as you can hear, the reverb will work on the entire nested sequence. Oh, by the way, if you want to learn more about sound designing your videos, then you're in luck because we have an advanced video editing class on Skillshare. And in that class, we have an entire section about sound design. I truly believe that this would help you increase your video quality because as we all know, audio is just as important as the video. You'll also learn tons of other things that you can use to sharpen your skills as a video editor. By the end of the class, you'll have a complete understanding of every video editing tool of Adobe Premiere Pro. This eliminates technical challenges so that you can focus on the creative side of editing. Now, if you're new to Skillshare, you can actually get your first month completely for free by signing up using the link in the description down below. So check out that link and I hope to see you in my class. And now let's jump back into Premiere and point you out on those mistakes. All right, the next thing that you're probably not doing is using the text window. Head over to the window menu and select text. Click on the graphics tab and here you can see a list of all your text layers and the frame where they are present. You can also see on which track they are located in the timeline or you can even search for one specific layer if you want to. You can adjust your text from here and there's even a built-in spelling check. This one is huge, guys. Now, if your video is playing back, the text scrolls and sync with your video, which can come in really handy too. Now, if you only want to see the text layers on video track number two, for instance, you can select that one with the filter function right here. I am really happy that they put this into Premiere because this saves me a whole lot of time. So uh, start using that from now on, guys. And now the next mistake that you're probably making is not using markers enough. They are much more useful than you might think. First of all, there are different colors. And from the shortcut settings, you can actually set a short key for each color. So while I'm editing, I would then constantly add such labels to my timeline. Red is for something that needs to be fixed. Green means that I need to add a sound effect right here. And white tells me to shoot extra B-roll for that part. You can also add the markers to the clips itself when you select them. This is very useful since they will snap their marker. I use that for sound designing. For instance, if you want the peak of a swoosh sound to be at a cut or at your timeline's marker. In our video about adjustment layers, we also showed you guys how to use markers with transitions. If you haven't seen that video yet, definitely do. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Next up, you want to make a triple split screen. And you're just kind of like guessing where to position your clips. Well, stop doing that. From the monitor button layout, click on the plus icon and drag the guides and the rulers button into the layout. You can then enable these and some rulers will appear from which you can drag out and position the guidelines. But you can also right click on the ruler and create a guide by typing in the exact location and that is going to be super helpful. Our canvas is 1920 pixels wide, so we'll create a guideline at 640 and another one at 1280. And now click on the tool button of the program monitor and enable snap in program monitor. You can now easily drag your video clips to the right spot and they will snap to your guidelines. 
Look at that. What a time to be alive. Next up, I was wondering which of these five mistakes that you were already not making. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. And here's a video in which I explain everything you need to know about those adjustment layers. So definitely check that one out. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay creative.